Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to talk about solos or soloing in Reaper. Now you're probably thinking using solos is pretty simple. You solo a track, you just hear that one track. But there is so much more to it, especially in Reaper. And if you stick with me a bit, you'll probably find a few things you didn't realize you could do. So let's get started. At its most basic level, if we solo a track, we just hear that track. So for this project here, if we solo the kick, we just hear the kick. Or the snare, or the hi-hat, shaker, or keyboard. Pretty basic, but there's a lot more we can do with our solos. For one thing, Soloing in Reaper is a bit different from other DAWs, or even analog or digital mixers. Like by default, if you're sending tracks to effects returns, like I'm doing with my snare here, setting it to the reverb and the delay, usually you don't hear those returns. But with Reaper you do. Here's just the reverb. or just the delay. But we're hearing it by default by just soloing the snare. A lot of DAWs or mixers don't behave that way. And if you prefer the other way, we can change that with the preferences. If we go down here to audio, right over here is an option, solo's default to in-place solo, which is what we're hearing right now, where the snare is sending to the reverb and delay, and we're hearing it even without soloing the effects returns. So if we turn this off here, now we're just gonna hear the snare. It's completely dry. And with this mode, you have to solo the effects returns. Otherwise you don't hear them, like our reverb and our delay. What you could also do in this mode is defeat these solos. So let's turn these off. Let's right click the solo button and go down here to solo defeat, which we could also trigger by holding down modifiers. On PC, it's control shift, and on Mac, it's command shift. And if you hold that down and hit solo, it defeats the solo. Let's do it on both. And what that means is we can solo the snare, and these two tracks are still going to play. We could undo it right from here and switch it back in our preferences to this mode, where the solo is default to in place solo. And now we're going to hear the snare along with the returns. Now, if we go back to our preferences, we can see that it mentions if we alt click, we get a normal solo. Hold on Alt on the PC, or Option on the Mac, hit Solo, and now we're just going to hear the snare. Which would be normal soloing that you see in most DAWs or on a real console. And we can also see that by right clicking and seeing it right here, which is called Solo Ignore Routing. Normally, we get this one here, Solo in Place. where we hear the effects returns, even if they're not soloed. Now, if we have a bunch of tracks soloed, and we want to quickly unsolo them all, we could right-click and choose Unsolo All. Or we could use the modifier. On PC, it's Control. On Mac, it's Command. And just click any solo button, or hold down the modifier, and all the tracks become unsoloed. Even if that track isn't soloed, we could solo these three right here, hold on the modifier, and do it to this track. And all our tracks become unsoloed. I should also mention, we can solo and drag. So I can grab right here, hold the solo down, and just drag 
to solo tracks that are all next to each other, or undo it the same way, to unsolo them. We could also choose exclusive solo. And what that's going to do is going to unsolo any of the tracks that are currently soloed and solo the track we've chosen. So let's say we soloed these three, and now we want to solo the kick. We don't want to have to go back and unsolo these first and then solo the kick. So what we can do instead is right click and choose exclusive solo. Now the kick is soloed and everything else becomes unsoloed. And we can do it in groups. So if we solo these three tracks, we can select this one and this one, hit exclusive solo, and just these two tracks, or the selected tracks, become soloed. And the other tracks become unsoloed. And we can do that with a modifier. On PC, it's Alt Control, and on Mac, it's Option Command. Hold on the modifier, and you get exclusive solo. So just that track, or the selected tracks, become soloed. And the other tracks that are currently soloed become unsoloed. It's a little bit quicker than having to unsolo the other ones first. Now, the solo mode we've been using is called Solo in Place. We can see it right here Solo in Place. But we could also choose Solo in Front. If we go to Options, right over here, we could choose Solo in Front. And what that's going to do is going to dim the other tracks instead of turning them off. So if I solo the snare, we'll still hear the other tracks, just a lot lower. Or the keyboard. So it makes it easier to focus on the track, but we can still hear what else is going on. And we can adjust that in the preferences. Right over here, solo in front dimming. By default, it's minus 18. So all the other tracks are being dimmed or reduced by 18 dB. We could change it to 12. Or anything you choose. We could also adjust that level with a keystroke or a continuous controller using MIDI. Let's go to our actions and our filter, type in solo dim. And here's an action where we can adjust the solo in front dim setting or its level. We can use a MIDI controller or a mouse wheel. I'm going to use the mouse wheel. I'm going to hold on shift, move my mouse wheel. Shows up right there. Hit OK. Close this. Now I can use that keystroke, Shift Mouse Wheel, to control the background level of our solo in front dim. So let's solo our kick. Let's readjust it. So we can adjust it on the fly. Pretty cool. But you have to turn it on under options, right here. By default, it's off, and we get solo in place, which mutes the other tracks completely. So that's pretty much it. That's soloing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!